to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning everybody Well, we finally got ourselves a load and uh, we are all in for a surprise so that's how a look what the surprise is voila <laughs> that is snowing out there yeah it is slippery like crazy but we gotta go hopefully it's not going to be too terrible so i can make it up to dryden Gonna go to Dryden, Ontario and pick up a load and go to Moorhead, uh, Minnesota, which is there by far ago, so Anyways, we gotta get going. Well guys, here the fun begins It is extremely slippery out here Yeah, and it makes it even worse because I'm a <laughs> I got an empty trailer behind me but luckily we only got to go 10 miles north and then we can start uh, going east and because the wind is coming from the west I think I should be alright once I start going uh, east, you know? But first we got to get through this 10 mile stretch before we can go east, right? So let's keep our fingers crossed Hope we can make it it's a little scary for me even today. It's uh, the very first little bit of snow that we get and it's usually treacherous at that time. A lot of people don't realize how slippery it is but I was just sliding everywhere there earlier uh, when I went to the fuel station there. Mind you I uh, fueled up 759 liters worth of fuel. So that's probably about 1500 pounds. So I got more weight on the drive now. So let's just keep her slow and steady. It's extremely windy. Plus it's slippery like crazy. So let's try and not slide off the road. I'm just gonna take a real easy up there to uh, Highway 1 where I gotta go east. So from there I think I should be alright. I think so anyways. But Let's come along and let's see what kind of day we will have today. Well, hi there. Hi there, everybody. This is Trucker Rudy giving a weather report to you all out there. Look at this. We are here at a highway. And as far as you can see behind me there, everything is shut down. Now we turn around like that, everything is shut down. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I should be a news reporter, shouldn't I? <laughs> Yeah, as long as we are safe out here, we're good, good, right? We got food in the truck, but apparently the highway has been shut down for about four hours, they said. The traffic is just allowed to come this way right now. They're not allowed to go that way yet. Eastbound I'm referring to, we can only go west, so... Anyways, we're here by, uh, uh, what's it called, by Vasthawk area? By, uh, oh, I forget the lake now. But there's actually a lake just down the road here. Uh, oh, I had the name there, but anyways, this is very close to the area where we usually go fishing. But yeah, it's not really cold; it's just slippery like crazy, you know. But anyways, I got asked to do something earlier. Nah, look at that—we got snow. Anyways, we'll be right back. You all be safe out there, okay? Alrighty, guys, we've been sitting here for a good while. The road was shut down. Well, I got here around 10.30. And we got uh, 20 after 2 right now. Apparently there's an accident up the road somewhere. Maybe they have cleaned it up now. But uh, here we are. Finally getting back on rolling again. So let's see if we can make it through these hills up here. Uh, 
before the scale there's a couple of two hills uh, or two uh, valleys that we got to go through I'll, uh, I'm a little bit afraid that I might not be able to make it through there but just have to see how it goes we just hope we don't get ourselves into trouble up here you know well we'll just continue on and see what happens here we go guys this is it looks like they've been putting a lot of salt down on here and cleaning it up so right now she's looking pretty good so we're gonna give her a little bit yes try and get up to that hill I've been uh, spacing myself pretty good I think between these trucks so that way we can get up here yeah it looks pretty good here now they must have cleaned it, everything up over here you know but we got another hill up there yet too so I don't know why these other guys are taking it so easy or so slow I meant to say not easy just or super slow you know but yeah well I guess better safe than sorry. This is where the uh, other valley is. Looks like that one truck over there. He's real slow there, you know. Ah well. With this kind of condition, the road is good. I'm pretty sure we shouldn't have any problems. The road actually looks wet right now. Yeah, I don't think the scale is open today. I didn't see no lights flashing anywhere. Yeah, I don't see them flashing anywhere, so... Looking good. Yeah, this is just going to be a disaster, I think, today, because... Uh, there's going to be so many trucks moving both directions now, it's going to be... A recipe for disaster. That's what I call it. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of trucks in here by the scale. My pictures in the magazines today. And I should be excited, but I'm really kind of tired of it. I know curious minds, they're all looking to find some.
you guys, we have officially made it to Dryden, Manitoba. Uh, Dryden, Manitoba. Dryden, Ontario. And we have picked up our preloaded trailer. And guess what? We are still cruising. We got all our high beams on. Some super lights going right now. And this is the weather condition we gotta drive in sometimes. It's still snowing pretty good. Yeah, there's another penner ahead of me there, so I'm just sitting back and relaxing and cruising. And this is the kind of highway we gotta take. And this is the 502 that I was talking about a long time ago on one of my videos where we had truck problems on this road and there's no cell service up there where we had problems. Now I have a booster kit, cell phone single booster kit, and that seems to do pretty good. At least I can, uh, if I need to, I can uh, maybe get a text out or uh, maybe an emergency phone call or something like that, you know. But uh, winter is definitely here, that's for sure. But I just figured I'd show you a little bit on what we drive in. To give you an idea, here is all the fun parts of the trucking industry that we gotta go sometimes. Well, I guess we don't have to, but we want to make any kind of money, we got to, right? That's right. Well, guys, it has been a very long day for me, but we are done. Yeah. Oh man, we finally made it across the border. Now we are in International Falls, Minnesota. We're actually sitting there at the K mark. Yeah. And uh, this is a new route for me. US 1171. You know, kind of run together here for a little bit. So, uh, but. I was a little bit afraid on where am I going to park and then uh, I come this way and I saw the other penner that was up there and Dryden that was parked here as well so I said alright I'll go in here he must obviously know something that I don't so I go in there and uh, talk to him and he said yeah his brother parked here every once in a while he said uh, it's okay they, they leave you alone so I said alright well I guess I'll just go in here and give it a shot I guess we'll find out if they'll kick us out of here or not, but I don't think so. I mean, it's quiet up here. It's we are not bothering anybody, but yeah, look at that. <clears throat> it's still snowing out there. Oh yeah, we've been driving in some heavy snow <clears throat> this evening, but uh, anyways, we are done. Yep, that is very true. We are done. So, I guess we'll go to bed and get up early tomorrow or as early as we can and get out of here. So with that being said, thanks for watching and we'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. behind me that day is gonna come